and welcome back to the Turdford Show. All right, so on today's video, we're going to take a look at this problem. We've already been in this series on series and series on series. Man, that's weird. Series on series and parallel resistors. But anyway, this problem's trying to be a little bit different because it's asking you to find power on this one. And so when a problem asks me to find power, the first thing that pops in my head is P is equal to current times potential. Uh, using V equals IR, we can do a little substitution if we want, and we can plug that in and get I square R, or even V square over R if we need to. So we got several different ways of actually figuring out power. Now this uh, problem that we've got here, it's tried to make the problem a little bit harder, but the reality is this setup is the exact same as the very last video that I made. And now that I'm looking at the last video, this is hideously looking ugly. Look at that. There's like stuff going every... Oh, wow. That's... Ugh. Man. Anyway, so let's see what we can't do here, 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 here though. All right. So first thing I did is I redrew the problem down here and made it a little bit bigger where I could see it better. And here's something you've got to notice. This is drawn this way to try and make it a little bit harder. I'm going to try and find an R totaler. I'm going to try and find an R EQ for this entire circuit and equivalent resistance. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to find this current that's leaving here. And then I'm going to watch that current go through this circuit. And one of the first things I want you to notice is this junction. You see the current is going to split at this spot. And then if you watch the current, it goes through, through, goes through, and it comes back together and back out. So this is just like the last problem. Again, And if you really need a lot of help with these, you need to go to the physical science videos and watch all those resistor problems. That will actually help you a lot. But essentially what we've got is this, if it helps you to look at it this way. You've got this plain Jane looking problem from physical science. You've got a 5, and then you see that 2 and that 1 are in parallel like that. And then you've got this 4. So we're in that same problem that we had last time. If you want to find an R total for this circuit, you've got to notice something. These are in a series with the 5 and the 4. So I need to reduce. I need to find the resistance, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1. Take your reciprocal. Well, in this case, we can actually make this one a little bit easier at this point. Let's see. That would be the same as, what, 3 over 2. And then you've got to take a reciprocal, which would be 2 over 3, which would be 0.67 ohms. So that means this these two resistors combine to make 0.67 ohms of resistance. So that's their combined resistance is 0.67. So now if you want to find the total for this circuit, you would add up the 5 plus the 0.67 plus the 4 ohm resistor, and the total resistance in this circuit is 9.67 ohms. Ohms. And so far we haven't even needed a calculator. I didn't read the problem, but even if it didn't ask for this, we've got to do this. Because one of, the, one of our must-dos now is this. Every problem, you need to find this resistance for the circuit. And then what I want to do is this. I want to figure out this current that is leaving my battery. And to do that, it's easy. All I'm going to do is V equals IR. I know that the battery has a potential of 9 volts. I've got to know that the circuit has a total resistance of 9.67 ohms. And so, wow, this is going to be like 0.99, but we'll do it and make sure it's right. 9 divided by 9.67, let me guess, 0.93. Wow. So the current in this problem is 0.93 amps. Let's get into what that means. That means that leaving this battery is 0.93 amps. Now, part of this problem is easy. Follow the electricity. That means 0.93 amps goes through here. Now, we've got a problem. That amps is going to split. 
I'm going to call this I2 and I3. And so I know, though, this. I know that I2 and I3 combined give us 0.93 amps of current. So I don't know what either of the currents are going through these two resistors, but I know what they add up to be. I know they combine the 0.93 amps. And then I know that after they come back together, I know that I'm going to have 0.93 amps here as well. Now this problem wants you to find the power in every one of these resistors. So let's take a look at this. So if I want to find the power here, let's look at what we got. We've got this 5 and this 0.93 amps. And I know a bunch of equations for power. Power is equal to IV. I know it's I square R, and I know it's V square over R. Well, let's look back again at what we've got. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've got 5 ohms and 9 3 amps, which means if I want to find the power in that 5 ohm resistor, all I got to do is I square R. So the 0.93 amps times 5 ohms. I almost forgot my square on that 9.3, which considering it's basically 1, the answer to this is going to be right at 5. 0.93 square times 5. And we got 4.3. Wow, that 0.93 made a pretty big difference. 4.3 watts. So that's my power in the 5 ohm resistor is 4.3 watts. All right, now I'm going to do this one. This is also going to be very easy. To find my power lost in that one, it's going to be exactly like this one. You can tell I've already got a current. I've got a resistance. So let's go find the power in the 4 ohm resistor. So the power in the 4 ohm resistor would be I square R, 0.93, times 4, I'm going to guess like 3.1, 3 3.2, 3 I don't know, 0.93 square times 4 equals 3.45, so I'm going to say 3.5 and round off, so it's got a power of 3.5 watts, so we found quite a bit, but this problem still wants us to do something else. It still wants us to find the power in the 2 and the power in the 1. So we're going to have to figure out how to do that. Because you see, the others, we knew the current. But in this one, we don't actually know. I don't actually know what current is running through that one. I don't actually know what current is going through this one. So how can I find this current? Or how can I find what I'm doing here? Well, let's go back to that last video. I'm going to redraw this drawing in a little bit sexier detail. Dun, dun, dun. So we had a 5, then we had a 2, and a 1 in parallel. For a lot of people, redrawing them is really the trick. And then we had a 4. And y'all found that there's 0.93 amps leaving that battery. Uh, let's see, we found that this is a 0.67 ohm resistance. And now we know that there is 0.93 amps going through there. And what we've been asked to find is the power on each one of those. Well, I don't know the current. All I got is R. But I know this. Remember, we talked about this last time. Every piece of a series, you're going to lose a potential ohm. So I could find the potential on this if I wanted to. Finding the potential on this, all I'd need is I times R, 0 0.93 times 0 0.67. And that's going to tell me the potential on this parallel section. 0 0.93 times 0 0.67, and that's 62. So that's telling me, 62, 62, 62. That's telling me that there is 0.62 volts of potential on this section. Well, what that means is that there's 0.62 volts on that resistor and 
0.62 volts on this one. And this problem is essentially done. Because look at this information. <clears throat> if you wanted to find your I's, just do V equals IR. Well, this problem doesn't ask me to find I2 and I3. It says find power. Well, I can still do that. Power is equal to IV, I square R, or V square over R. In this case, I know my V's now. It'll be 0.62 square over 2 for the first one. So let's plug that in, 0.62 square divided by 2. So that one's going to have a power of 0.19 watts. And if I want to find the power of the other one, it would be 0.62 square over 1. Da, 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 which I'm going to guess is 0.36. Oh, uh, what do you think? Oh, my goodness, I messed up. 0 0.39 is actually what I meant. Trust me, I meant that. You just weren't here for it. 0 0.39 watts. And now we have actually solved everything they wanted in this problem. So we've found the power in all of these resistors. Again, I'm going to encourage you, if, if any of this don't make sense, this whole finding potential, go back to my physical science page and watch those series in parallel. Uh, examples because I go in full detail in those videos how to find all these potentials and everything so I'm assuming at this point you know how to do that but anyway thank you uh, take it easy and uh, we'll smell you later